Hey, what's going on? This is Norman Bradley from BKS1 Radio. I'm here with the legendary activist, comedian, actor, humanitarian, Mr. Dick Gregory. How you doing today, Fantastic, sir? Fantastic, brother, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you. You know, I said to myself, I said, if I ever meet you in person, one thing I was going to ask you, because you was around when the Civil Rights Movement was a real movement, do you think people today have gotten too passive on how they handle situations? You act like it was a lot of black folks out there. <laughs> we never had no a lot of black folks out there. Right. It was a handful. And whenever we had a movement, we called some people. There's five times more black folks living in Washington, D.C. than we had in the 60s being March on Washington. Mm. Okay? Yes. It's a game. No, not, not at all. Matter of fact, it's hipper now than it was then. And that don't mean we're going to solve anything, because we live in mom and dad and talking all that old crazy talk and ain't going to do nothing. You know? So do you think leaders like Al Sharpton are, are making positive strides and are making change? If they wasn't, I wouldn't tell you. Huh? Okay. Well, I'd say you would run all over the world. Al Sharpton is probably the most powerful black man in America because he's on five hours a day. Uh, okay. And he's on TV. You can't get no more powerful than that. Hmm? Absolutely. Now, now, what did you feel like when you was watching television and you heard that uh, Senator Obama was elected pre president of the United States? Better go back and do your research. I said that two years before anybody heard of him. He'd be the president twice. You know. Ain't no secrets. How can we be this stupid to have a first black president and 12 years ago... We ain't never heard of him. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Now you ran for president yourself. A lot of people don't know that. Um, back in I think it was '68. Yeah. Back in '68. Um, from what I understand, you actually got or was that a mistake? Like close to nine million votes in in Pennsylvania or something. Yeah, that was Pennsylvania. But that's how they trick elections. That was the only place I was on the ballot. I was on the right on. So they shut all the voting tallies down because at 9 o'clock they predicted that Dick Gregory was president-elect because I had 9 million votes in Pennsylvania. That's how they do elections. huh? No paper but one paper ran. I'll show it to you before we get out of here. It's the Wall Street Journal. Wow. That Friday. You know, this is a game they play, man. A game they play. Huh? You know, when you take the September the 11th, Anytime you say 9-11, America don't use a number for a month. It's October the 12th. 9-11, mm. if you walk home tonight and your mother, grandmother was on the phone, you say, who you calling, mom? She said, 9-11. What happened to your face? 9-11 tells the brain to be scared. That's what all that's Absolutely. about. And if you looked at, if you looked at September the 11th, one, if you punch up Operation Binko, that's in, that was in the, in the, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. The FBI went in and raided that boy's house five years before and knew all the places they were going to hit. Now, let me back you up for a minute. They hit New York City. They didn't close no buildings down in New York other than that. How they knew it was going to be another hit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They hit Washington, D.C., but they ain't never closed nothing down in Philadelphia. Mm. They hit the Sears Tower in Chicago, and two blocks from there was the Standard Oil building, the second tallest building in the world. They didn't shut that down. Did somebody Absolutely. know something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so if you look, go back at uh, around the corner in New York, there's uh, Fire Station 7. Mm -hmm. 7. They go to the World Trade Building a minimum of 50 times mm -hmm. every day, a maximum of 75. Why? Because the insurance will not permit you, if you had a business, to change the battery in mm. smoke detector. Because so many people come in. Up until 9, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, it's 48,000 people. Afternoon, it goes up to 140,000. That's wow. the tourists and everybody coming wow. in. Wow. And see, my reason, I got the best team in the world. I do the research. I spent two million dollars on doing mother's breast milk mm. with two of authorities 
which the two most authorities in the world were men. Hmm? And so they said, why are we paying us this much money? I said, if I'm going to pay you, well, I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for. So after it was over, I said this. I said, if my mama's, 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 mama's was the nanny for white children, I want to know how many generations before white folks become niggas. That's what I want to know. Hmm? Okay. And the guy called me back 20 years later and said they got a... I think a $50 million grant from the government after they told him. And then he said, but by the way, this already happened. I said, I see it happening. You know? And so it's the research. We will not do a damn thing because mm -hmm. we don't do research. You don't have the money to do it. Right. When they put them jet, when they put them satellites in the sky, they spent five trillion dollars doing research before they do. They don't go get some Americans that love America. Right. They're bringing scientists. We don't do that because we're not aware of what they have to do. When I'm doing the research, if you have a baby or watch a woman nurse a baby, mm -hmm. when she's nursing it on this breast, the other breast is leaking. Mm -hmm. Even them scientists thought that was milk. That's the poison that the universe set out so that baby can't get it. Wow. Okay? Wow. And so that when you sit and, and then you look and you look at it and you see it, and it's old. And so you can look at it. So anyway, the fire station, a minimum of 50 times mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. maximum of 75. 343 firefighters died that day, not counting the ones that went to the hospital, okay? Now think about this for a minute. 300, just, 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 just hold it on just a minute, I'll be through in a minute. 343 firefighters died that day. That's not counting the ones that's injured. Not one fireman from around the corner, station said, died or got injured. Did somebody know something? <laughs> hey, look, I can't, here's the other thing. I can't here's, argue with you there. Here's the other thing. It was 43,000 people in the building. 3,000 killed. Mm -hmm. What happened to the others? Hmm? We ain't seen them. Ain't nobody tell us where they got, how they got away, or what? We have not seen you all, all the celebrations. You haven't seen one of them come out and said, hey, we with the group that they miss. Why? Or did they miss him? And so that's, that's America. Though. You you absolutely right. Now, a lot's been going on in, in the news, you know, all the way from Trayvon Martin, Martin to the, uh, the man that recently got killed in South Carolina. Do you think this is going to bring about some change now? See, you can't talk to nobody like me. Okay? Because I don't deal with no hearsay and all that bullshit. Trayvon Martin. Mm -hmm. They said he was looking at the basketball all-star game, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At halftime, he went to the store and got Skittles mm -hmm. sweet tea. and Arizona sweet tea. Mm -hmm. Now, Skittles and Arizona sweet tea, you mix it together, you get a high 3,000 times more potent than crack, heroin, and cocaine. So, so I, how can I talk to you when y'all sitting here with NBC? If I know that, NBC know it. Go and ask these little snotty nosed children out there. I got grandchildren and say, Dad, we don't only make that. Mm -hmm. There's 11 other things we make in the kitchen while y'all sitting around talking all that crazy talk. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Now, now watch this now. Tavon went to the store mm -hmm. during the halftime. Hmm? Tavon was killed at 7-11, 7, 7, 7 mm -hmm. that night. Mm -hmm. The ball game didn't start till 8 o'clock, halftime went until 9.45. Mm -hmm. So what's this shit about? Huh? Huh? See how it works? Yeah. And so that's, that's what the whole game. The thing that everybody missed, and you're supposed to miss it, if you we're going to bring me by your house and we're going to tape a video for two days. Mm -hmm. And you live in a gated community. The one thing I got to do to get in your house is pass the fucking scanner. How come we didn't see him going to the store and coming back, huh? This is how ignorant they dumped everybody down with the bullshit. I'm going to say this again. They only showed us what they wanted to show us. Yeah. If you live in a gated community tonight when you're home, your mother come in, you got to pass that camera. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. How come? See, I'm one of the few that know he didn't die there. That's why you didn't see him going in or coming out. Okay? 
Then you go to uh, the 12 year old in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. You saw that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now go back and look at that tape. It, nigga with a gun. If you saw that when the pole for the police got that he was out playing in the park. Look at that. That's a head shot, man. That come from a fucking satellite. Well, go back and look at it. Huh? See, black folks, you so emotional. You ain't gonna see nothing. You're missing things. You hear me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you go back and you take Trayvon. Go back when he came out of that cigar store. Mm -hmm. He had flip flops and short pants. 15 minutes later, he laying there dead with Nike tennis and long pants. So y'all, I don't know if I need to come to y'all. Y'all don't have a damn thing. But what that garbage they gave you, huh? I'm the one released the picture with Ron Brown with the bullet in the back of his head. What no plane wreck, they killed all them be See, first, you live with this nasty hole, so you're a nasty hole with them. <laughs> you live with filth, you become filth. Yes, yes. And whatever they show you, that's what you pick up. 60% of all college football games is fixed every week. Huh? This is who he is. Yes, yes. This is who he is. Mm. So when you stop him and think of how it works, and then when you just sit, just like the guy down there uh, last Saturday, mm -hmm. did you see the picture where the white boy shot him in the back four times? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the, the, the video, the one where he had the yeah. video. For, yeah, yeah, so you shaking your head, that's why I see emotion. He's running, had a green shirt on. You didn't see no blood come off that motherfucker's back. Oh, y'all crazy? Go back and look at it. Huh? He's laying on the ground, the cat's planting something, and you don't see a pool of blood around there.